Accused high school shooter Nicholas Cruz was arraigned Thursday for the murders of 17 students and teachers. He shuffled into court in an orange jumpsuit, his hands and legs shackled, and remained silent as the judge denied bail. You're going to be held without bond until further order of the court. Many are asking some tough questions today. Were major warning signs missed that the depressed, gun-obsessed loner was about to unleash slaughter on a massive scale? Last September, Cruz wrote this on YouTube. I'm going to be a professional school shooter. I knew that I couldn't just ignore that. Ben so, Benight, a bail bondsman from Mississippi, the spotted the comment. He took a screenshot and sent it to the FBI. The next day, I had two FBI agents standing in my office. Today, the FBI Identity. confirms agents tried but were not able to locate crews. The FBI conducted database reviews, checks, but was, un was unable to further identify the person who actually made the comment. Cruz also left other disturbing posts on social media. I want to shoot people with my AR-15. I want to die fighting, killing ton of people. He was expelled from the high school last year for fighting, and on St. Valentine's Day, he returned, armed with the AR-15 assault rifle he bragged about. The terror experienced by the students is evident from the video they recorded as the massacre unfolded. <laughs> These traumatized teens sob as paramedics tend to their wounded classmates. <laughs> When armed officers lead them to safety, they pass bodies in the hallway. Another student recorded the moment a SWAT team came to rescue her class. Everyone on the floor! Everyone on the floor! David Hogg, the student news director for the school's TV channel, recorded everything as he hid under his desk. And we initially thought it was a drill, so we are all taking our time. We heard more gunshots. And that was when we realized this was not a drill. What I captured was the absolute terror and chaos of what being in a situation like this is in. A situation that none of us should ever be in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Run, run, run. Cruz escaped by joining in with clean students. White male, burgundy shirt, wearing a black hat and either long black pants or shorts. He mixed in with a group of students that were running westbound. To blend in, he wore a junior ROTC burgundy t-shirt because he knew the ROTC kids wore their shirts on Wednesdays. He fled the school towards the town of Coral Springs. He made it about a mile before he was spotted by cops and taken down. His arrest was caught on cell phone by a motorist. Cruz didn't resist as he was cuffed and loaded into a police cruiser. Now all of America is wondering if he could have been stopped.